Hey guys, so we're back again with Margot Ciccarelli. So this time we wanted to do kind of a dive into the bolo and the mechanics of what causes the lift. So we're gonna start building the bolo starting from a double guard pull. The reason for this is you're gonna get to the situation a lot, like if the guy's standing, we can knock him over and start setting it up from there. But just for the purposes of actually understanding the mechanics of what is gonna cause the bolo and how to take the back, we're just gonna start from the double guard pull here. But again, if she was standing, go ahead and stand up real quick. This would basically just be like a daily heba hook, right? We're just knocking them over in some manner, okay? Last thing that we actually need to manage in this position is actually the daily heba hook, right? And something that I find important is to actually observe the knee height in relationship to the floor. Because if I try to do a daily heba hook here, as you can see, it's super loose and he is able to move his leg around super easily. And there's very, very little control of his leg in this position. So, what I like to say in this position, I have my primary hand and the support hand. My primary hand goes on the heel, my support hand is going to the inside and is cupping the inside of the knee and at the back of the calf. So from here, it's very easy to elevate the leg and to support it so that I can weave my instep in his inner thigh and adjust the positioning. So you see, originally his knee was up here. I'm able to use both hands to get to this position. So as you can see from here, it's super tight compared to the original one. There's lots of space here. I have very little control of the actual Della Hiba hook. I adjust my hamstring, applies a little bit of pressure on his leg to keep the control. And my, my torso is also leaning a little forward too, to assist in inverting in this direction. So from here, I'm gonna do a leg hug I grab the pant material, full finger grip, I feed it to my left hand, I'm going to pull it. So as I pull it, what will happen is that the fabric is actually going to pull from his hip to the inside of his thigh, wrapping around his calf. So as I put my elbow on the floor here, this foot is going to retract to my butt so that I'm actually able to balance between my elbow and my foot. This hand now has a couple of options. This is going to be down to personal preference. We have the cross side collar, the belt, or the drawstring. Okay? I personally like either the belt or the drawstring mainly. From here, I'm going to grab the collar grip and balance between the elbow and the foot. And now I get into this classic position with my shin across his stomach. And this is firmly hamstring curled. My heel is aiming to get as close to my butt as possible here to keep control of his leg here. What's really important to note is actually first, my positioning in this landing prior to looking at this leg positioning. Because what I often see is that people stay in this position and expect to finish the ball off. From here, it's actually quite difficult to finish because you're actually loading your spine in a really unnatural way. Okay, you see like how there's a lot of weight on my neck. I have no weight on John right now. So what I need to do, I actually need to land in this free quarter position. So this actually will tilt John's posture and his body position a bit. So as you can see in this positioning, I'm able to apply more weight directly into John and off of my neck and my spine. So actually it increases my amount of mobility in order to move in the space, okay? What I need to do from here now to finish the rest of the bolo, I have to understand I need to keep a certain amount of pressure into his hip in order to elevate yeah, and to create back exposure. Guys, this, this mechanic here is so important. This uh, shin pressure into my thigh, if you do it correctly, it's extremely painful. When she applies this force, go ahead and apply it. Like I literally want to like, especially if I'm up here and she does it, start doing it. Yeah, I, I want to jump off the floor. I'm not just, she's not just moving me, like literally the pain is so much, it like drives into the leg here, into the nerve. It creates so much force that I literally have to jump off the floor because of the pain, the pressure, right? Go ahead. So from here, there's a couple of different finishes, but right now I have this like in between the knee. Mm -hmm. From here, if I can manage to create this sort of hip elevation, one of the easiest finishes is to slingshot the leg. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. As I create the hip elevation, I'm going to bring my knee behind this top leg as I also push it in front. So as I do that, I continue to extend. My first hook is inside. I'm sorry, I can extend 
and put the second hook and get the suit on. 